Welcome, everyone, to another edition of the Green Clan Discussions. It's been a while, but uh, now we're back in action. And uh, you guys know I'm Merlin, the magical, all that jazz. Okay, and I have a couple of awesome people with me tonight. First off, we have one of our newer members, the Rape Master himself, Jorge. I have to know everything. Yeah, I'm a new member. I'm really I'm very, very glad. I mean, the Clean Clan, and yeah, let's do some calls. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Uh, okay, next up, we've got the Zombie Man himself, uh, Walking Double O Dead. Bonjour. <laughs> Frenchman. And we also have the, the Anime Hero. Guten Tag. Yeah, what is up with these languages? Is that German? Was it? Yeah, that was, that was that German. Was German. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> German. Like, why, why? Being multilingual today. If you're uh, reviewing anime cards of like, Japanese cartoons, is I'm speaking German. Like... They, have, they have German dubs somewhere, I'm sure. I'm confused. All right. And uh, the man speaking now is, of course, Zoro Fanboy uh, 1 and 2 and 4. <laughs> also, oh, no, Zoro, Zoro Fan Man. man. I, I evolved, yes. I evolved into Zoro Fan Man. <laughs> Zoro Fan, his ultimate form, no doubt. <laughs> Watch, watch out with those chicken nuggets, man. He showed us his ultimate form. <laughs> his ultimate form. <laughs> he grew up. <laughs> and of course, uh, last but not least, certainly, is the lovely Lunar Spiral 1127. Okay, there I did not know where that was from. <laughs> that's that's Japanese. Oh. Just face it. Come on, man. You should have known that. Come on, hero. Don't you, don't you watch anything in subs? <laughs> <laughs> No, he's a. Uh... How can you call yourself an anime fan? That was a low blow. But the one that I knew was freaking Konnichiwa, man, or Ohio Saimasa, Arigato Saimasa. What about Baka? <laughs> yeah, but Everyone that's not a hello. That's not a sign. That's the first word you <laughs> learn, man. Oh, God. That's the first right. word you learn, exactly. Anyway, anyway, guys, um, tonight we're going to just be doing a discussion on our favorite anime villains. Just maybe newer villains we've seen, or just older ones, classic that we still think hold up pretty well. And I guess we'll just go around and we'll talk about it and we'll give our thoughts. All right, George, uh, who are some of your favorite anime villains? Well, I would like to talk about a, a childhood villain I had. Uh, I mean, some of Dragon Ball Z thing. I really like Cell. I really do. I mean, Ooh. I really like myself. Mm -hmm. I think it's I think, yeah. I mean, the, the best thing I like about it is the way he manipulated Vegeta, the way he used, you know, you know Vegeta cells because he had his cells against him and manipulating him. To, you know, to to get to go to his perfect form. I always I always loved that about Cell. Really and he's like I think that same pride. Yeah, and then it eventually got used against him against Gohan. I thought that was also nice. Like, it was... but uh, I mean, I'm, Cell is one. I like. I really like Cell. I, I, really I, I really ever liked his first form. I don't know why. I just I didn't like it when he. Became yeah, I never really liked that form. Not not a fan. Of I did not. <laughs> I loved him. He was so like creepy and like. Mm. Insane. like it's I that voice was amazing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's well, that's a good one. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. That was pretty good. We need Devil Artemis to do it. Where is it? Yeah, I know he needs to. Oh. Yeah, not here, but no, man. But what's in perfect cell, man? It, like he freaked me out too because he's just going around eating people. Fucking yeah, it was. It always up. scared me as a kid for some reason. Yeah, you think yeah he was kind of scary. Seeing like uh, seventeen and eighteen getting eaten and shit was fucking creepy, dude. Especially eating. I, I love the first guy that he absorbs. That man's like, oh. you know, offering yeah, with the money, money, the money, right? <laughs> the guy with the money. Yeah, he gets yeah. the money. Freaking like yeah. sucks him up through his tail. He dries up like a yeah. fucking yeah. swivelled up condom. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, that was yeah, that was. That was like, a fluff team for a snack, man. Fuck out. <laughs> Yeah. That, that was that was nice. Yeah, was Cell nice. Cell was a pretty good villain. I always liked him too. He he is very creepy and he he had a pretty cool personality. Cell was good, definitely good choice. Any other ones, Jorge? Uh, what about hey. Griffith? Well, you know, I know that's a bait. Is he really a villain? But I think he's, a, he's definitely, definitely a villain. He's, he's, a villain. He's, he's, definitely he's pretty bad. bad. He's, he's pretty bad. I remember that was like a villain. Like that was like a discussion. Like I don't know when, but like people like discussing if he's really a villain or not. But I definitely cool. think he's a villain. Rapes Cusca. Not only that. That's pod. why. That's why. Not only that, he was butchering like people left and right for his conquest of becoming a king. It yeah. was a selfish goal. Right there. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, Griffith was a good one. Uh, any other ones, Joshua? Uh, you're putting me on the spot, man. I don't know. Let me see. Uh, good villains. Good anime villains. Uh, what about? Oh, I really like this one. I know. That kind of controversial, but I always love my pain from Naruto. I, love, I always love it. Oh, pain's cool. My pain, Hi, cool. Pain. Yeah. I, like I know he revived everybody, but if you, you know, put that away, I really thought it was a really good villain. Besides, uh, yeah. I, 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 he's, actually, he's one of my favorites. I'm, I'm fine with that. I like pain. I'll do that. Yeah, Though that, that reviving whole. That, that, was, that was kind of uh, stupid. <laughs> it, definitely, it definitely brought him down I a mean, notch. It's kind of funny because, uh, you know, it builds up everything. There was this whole tragedy that he was trying to use to kind of like 
destroy Naruto's spirit. And it's like, ah, oh, you know what? Fuck it. I can just reverse it. Everybody comes back to life. Yeah. That was but like, you know, and, you know, you know, to break some loopholes here or whatever, um, couldn't he have done that when Yakiko died in the first place? Uh, maybe he didn't. Oh, yeah. Uh, Just saying. Uh, yeah. Well, maybe he didn't know about the pet. You know, yeah, I thought maybe he didn't learn that. Yeah. Maybe. Well, yeah, but I mean, if he didn't community. know it, if he didn't know it when Yahiko died, like after the body decomposes, you can't bring him back. So. Maybe that was there a rule set there? Maybe that's what happened. I think yeah. I read it. Yeah, you can only bring back people that are, you know, are recently dead. I'm assuming. Put I think the old Dragon Ball loophole in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. It all goes all right, back to Dragon Ball. That was a. Uh, Everything goes back to Dragon Ball. Every true. time. It does. Well, George, say that was like three, so I, I guess we'll limit it to three. Um, how about you, Dad? Uh, how about some three for you? Three for me. Um. Damn, you have to pick three. I'm, I'm gonna go with a little bit of a curveball, someone I don't talk about. Uh, Harry McDowell from Gungrave. Okay. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. Oh, you gotta love you gotta love Harry McDowell. I mean, I just like the fact that you know. I don't know. Well, it's going to be spoilers and shit, but... <laughs> spoilers. I'm going, to, I'm going to have to spoil it to talk about stuff. Brandy. It's like the fact, you know, how him and Brandon are best friends. You know, they they work up the ranks and you, you think that they're going to, you know, take over Millennium and he just, like, you know, betrays his best friend and kills him. And it's... Even though you know it's going to happen at some point in the series, it's still quite a bit of a shock to you. Like, holy shit, he actually does do it. And he's like, ah, oh, he's, he's such a, like, a power-hungry... You know, like scumbag, <laughs> over cocky. I don't know. I'd love him. I think he's. I think he's really like quite underrated because not a lot of people have watched Gungrave. Mm -hmm. Right, right. He's but, a. Um, he's a really good one, man. Actually, it's it's kind of interesting because he starts off. He's really not that bad of a guy, and his uh, situation slowly changes him. He becomes this really evil bastard. Yeah, he he he, he you know he gets corrupted by the power and his like greed to you know rise up the ladder sort of thing. Mm -hmm. You think he's gonna do it for like good at first, but then you know he just does it for the money and the power. He just comes like a mafia don. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, he became bloody Harry. <laughs> he becomes bloody Harry, yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, then you uh, gotta go with Johan Lieber. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah of course, monster. Of course, yeah. of course. So I mean, uh, what can you say about Johan? Trying to leave spoilers out a little bit, you know. Yeah, no, no, don't worry, I won't. <laughs> I won't spoil the monster there. Yeah. Um, what, what can you say? Just you know, the master minute for later. <laughs> and I don't know. I can't go into spoilers on Johan. So <laughs> <laughs> that's what I can, I can just say. You know, the greatest chess man in anime. <laughs> I heard a lot of people like I don't know what happens at the end, but a lot of people are disappointed with the ending. Does that have to do with Johan? I think I think that should be another uh, discussion actually. Cause, yeah. Uh, but I I actually kind of agree. Uh, I have my issues with the ending. I don't, uh, yeah, I, I, I really like the ending. But really? <laughs> oh, okay. I do. I like it, but that, obviously that's a different... Different conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Third one, shit. Well, all right, I'm going to go with my childhood favourite. It's going to be Freezer. Okay. Ooh, Freezer. Damn it, you Freezer. picked mine. <laughs> wow. It's so hard to have three. No, you're right. I'm taking all the good ones, that's man. That's two Dragon Ball. <laughs> yeah, so, uh... There's only one left now with Piccolo and Dot Bye Bye, man. Fuck it. Oh, wait, what about Piccolo? Oh, I, got, I got one, I got one. No love for Lock Mark. You say Freezer, but you talk about Freezer. Well, what I love about yeah. Freezer is just that, you know, when it's the first cup, you know, by Dragon Ball Z, it's the first like proper series I watched. It's just because he was like so overpowered, you know, and he, it's like, mm -hmm. he, so, you know, the odds of like Goku beating him were just completely like zero until he turned like Super Saiyan. But I don't know, and I, I love that creepy, like, transsexual weirdness to him. <laughs> 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 it's true, it's true. Yeah, you know, like, is, is you a man, is he a was... woman? Like, like, what I think this? that's only the case in the dub, really. But that's... yeah, it is really in the case of the dub. <laughs> but <laughs> still, yeah. Well, he still has some lips, man. He still is carrying that. He's got, he's got the lips. He's got, he's got the classic glossy lips, like you know, Griffin. <laughs> 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 Every villain oh, about is not again. complete without glossy lips. Yeah. No, I'll I tell you what, one, uh, free, one, free, here, free, one villain that I don't like. Uh huh. Chernobyl Sensui. <laughs> oh, well, well, oh, well, 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 well save, save, save that, fired. save that for another time. <laughs> <laughs> that that's definitely a good conversation, though. Yeah. Um, Pray okay. for you, Ubi Carter, the nearest. I know, right? Ubi Carter be going wild. <laughs> exactly. Uh, th those are good picks, Dead. Um, all right, let's move on to the anime hero. Uh, pick uh, three villains you really like, hero. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. I know it's difficult because I, I got a couple. You know, I, know. Right, I mean, I mean, if, if you're if you're are you not ready? Here? I know Hero's gonna take this, and I want to do it before he does. 
The major. The major. Oh, come on, man. No. <laughs> I knew he was going to take it, so I want to get it out first. Okay, All the Zora. good ones are being taken, man, you know? Zoro, okay, well, he, Zoro spoke up for one first, so Zoro's going now, man. <laughs> Sorry, you're... <laughs> Lost your chance. Stole it. Stole it. I stole it, but yeah, the man... The, the major man, if you can go and talk a little bit about him when he is some term, but uh, <laughs> he's just so evil, man. And uh, the fact that he's not really powerful in any sense, but he just has this great like charisma and manipulative ability to kind of control people. And all you know, his only goal is just to create chaos and war. I mean, that, that's the case for a lot of villains, but he does it in such an awesome way. Like his speech that he gives off is just is amazing. It's like, I love Blitzkrieg and sieges, <laughs> and oh, it's so good, it's so good. And he's and, a Nazi. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's like, I, I hate to say it, but I loved him as a character. Like, I hate, I hate to say that I like the Nazi character, but he was a beast. And I, so, um, yeah, the major is, is a really good character. I really like the major a lot. He's just evil bastard. Really good character. Um, and he almost succeeded basically in killing Alucard. Well, kind of almost did. Well, I don't want to spoil it. But, uh, oh, yeah, he's pretty hard. Yeah, I like the major. <laughs> but his speeches, don't you think his speeches were a bit too long of a major? Like his speeches. Nah, no, nah, it was it was good though. It was good. Uh, it's good, it's good length. Was, I mean, there was like there, there were long, but no. I mean, I love war. Well, yeah, but it's. Uh, uh, I don't a, know. I mean, he acts like a political a figure. It, it, a, a speech of that magnitude would have to be that long. It would have to be at least six, eight minutes long. That's true. Yeah, yeah. True. He's it was very dramatic. dramatic speech. And, and the OVAs OB, OB are so long. Like it, it doesn't like in the grand scope of the episode, it's not that long. You know what I'm saying? Like long also, when he delivered the speech, it was the ending of episode four, so it was a per perfect way to end it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, that's how I feel. And uh, the next person I want to talk about is my man, Makoto Shishio, man. Oh, oh Shishio. Shishio. Shishio, man. He's oh, on fire. Talking? He's on fire, man. Like, I kind of <laughs> hate, hated the way that he went out because he didn't really lose. He kind that was of a bitch. That was a bitch death. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, he, he, his time limit came up. Like, oh, you're just going to... But that's just how beast he is. Like, Kenshin probably wouldn't have been able to beat him if the fight would have continued. That's how much of a beast he is. To the point where he had to kind of have a loophole to lose the, the, the final fight. Uh, the, the guy's just an absolute monster. Then he goes and he dies and goes to hell. And he says, okay, let's just take over hell now. Nothing <laughs> <laughs> better to do. Fucking hell. <laughs> and I just love his backstory. And he's just an excellent, excellent villain, man. Um, now a third villain. This is going to be tough. Uh, all the good ones are taken. So I'm gonna cheat, say Vegeta when he was a villain. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I accept. I knew, that. I knew you could take. I knew you could take. Oh, okay. Everyone's taking Dragon Ball. Aren't be, be, care, be careful, guys. All the good Dragon Ball ones, and you know. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, I, and I'm just saying. We, we, I'm just saying. We, we still, we still have Boo. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh, <laughs> no, no way. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah. no, no, no. We, we still got Boss Rabbit, man. Boss Rabbit's the shit. Fuck yeah, Boss yeah. Rabbit's the shit. <laughs> Yo, yo, what about Napa? Napa was a good villain. Yeah, good henchman. You aim for Pilaf. For Pilaf. <laughs> Pilaf, Pilaf, Pilaf was funny, honestly. He was funny. Androids. Was funny. Androids are cool. Yo, Ginyu was smart. Yeah, yeah, take, take one villain, yeah, guys. Take, take one villain. You can't lay him off. Ginyu. <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah, man. I'm just, Zarbon. Uh, okay, Lunar. All those are all your villains. No, 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 no. Okay, Lunar, go ahead. You can pick some. Okay, mine. Okay, well... My favorite villains. Oh, jeez, this is tough. You guys pick the good ones. Uh, <laughs> oh, I got one. Dio Brando Ooh. from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because of that, but also because of Part Three, the world. That was awesome. But <laughs> the thing is, I mean, it's not that he was like born villain as a like evil. He was he was like rotten because of his um his father. And, you know, right after that, he had to live with the Joe Stars, and he just wanted to become number one, the top. Mm -hmm. and, and he killed a dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. He found a dog alive. That almost worked. Almost. <laughs> and there's, like, the secrets of the the secrets of the mask and how to become a vampire, and he, he wanted to transcend into a whole different being, which he did. And then, of course, he raised his own... Army of Vampires, Jack the Ripper. Yeah, yeah you probably know. <laughs> it's just, sometimes there are moments where he's such a complete dick. Like the one time where he made his this mother eat her own baby. Ugh. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was messed up. Wow, that's fucked up. I know, it was. But there is something about him that makes him so evil that you can't help but be entertained by this guy. <laughs> he's like fabulous. Fabulous. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> oh, another, another founder of the glossy lips. Another one. 
<laughs> Who has a glossy? He's a, glossy a him list. Or, or Griffith, man. No one will ever know. No one ever know. What happened if they ever met up? The meeting of the glossy lips. I just it's I don't know, want to know what kind uh, of glossy session they have. Oh, no. <laughs> Too much. Disgusting. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess. Oh, also in part three. I think I don't know if this will happen in like part three or part four. I don't remember. But when he comes back, he, he um possesses, I believe, it was Jonathan's body. Yeah. Is that in part three or part four? That's three. That's three. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, part three was one of my favorite arcs. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so second villain. Jeez, this is tough. Uh, I'm trying to think, trying to think. Oh. Sense of nostalgia. Um, Myotis Mon from Digimon. Ooh, nice one. Yeah, vampire. Which, uh, which season was that? That was for uh, yeah, first season, I think. Original. Oh, first season, oh, okay. Yeah. Wait, is it is it a clown in season one? Because there's a there's like a clown season one. I love that. Uh, uh, the vampire. The vampire. That, that yeah, was the uh. The vampire one. Pat Pat. Uh, what, 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 it's been so long. It's been so long. That clown was awesome. What's that? <laughs> Yeah, my oldest mom was pretty cool. Because he, yeah, I mean, he wanted to take over. I, what was it? Ah, uh, damn, take over the the human world or the digital world. He wanted to take over both, actually. Yeah, he wanted to take over both, and you know, he nearly succeeded. Plus, <laughs> and don't forget, how he manip- and don't forget, Loner, how he he actually also, you know, what he did to the ladies. <laughs> what? There, there is oh, a yeah. there's a scene oh, where God. he. Uh, yeah, yeah, there was a scene where he tries to like suck a human a human woman's of blood. Okay. Well, he's a vampire. So pretty, yeah. pretty dark yeah. for, for Digimon. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Very he, he's dark. a vampire Digimon after all, and he does avoid sunlight. Plus yeah, the fact that, that he manipulated, one. he manipulated the Ace Digidestin's uh, Digimon Gatamon. Remember? Mm-hmm. The cat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm trying to go after the Ace Digidestin, I think. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and then they gotta like bring him back. I think season two. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it was the same as like before, but yeah, I took over this one guy's mind. I think. Yeah. Huh. You gotta rewatch oh. Digimon. It's been like forever, dude. It's on Netflix, season. though. Is it really? All both the awesome. first two seasons, yeah. Nice. I'm checking that out tonight. Good yeah, stuff. I YouTube think season Netflix. yeah season six is even gonna there's a dub good coming out for that. Nice. How many seasons are there? Six. There's six. They're right. skipping season five. I remember there was one season where they turned into the Digimon or some that's, shit like that. that was that's bad. season four. Bad. That shit mm-hmm. sucked so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah, right. Even as a kid, I'm like, this is fucking stupid. Yeah, no, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> then you know it's bad. The concept know. was good, but when it was executed, it wasn't. Eh. Right. Is it in the Tamers they turn like? Uh, they kind of turn in, or not turn into, but they merge or some shit. I think they so. They merge in season three. Right. I remember seeing that, and then you guys see their naked bodies. I was like, "What the hell?" Oop. It's a little like risque. Me. That's a pretty. That's yeah, exactly. Dude, I was a kid naked when I saw that, and Digimon. even I was confused. <laughs> well, you go see it one time, right? So. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that, that's cool. Okay, so I guess moving on to the third villain. Uh, God damn it. Um, shoot, I'm trying to think. Um, <laughs> you don't have to have e- three, you know? <laughs> it's not easy, man. I don't know why we you know, have, don't have to have three. Three, three villains, three villains, three villains. I'm trying to think. God damn it. Uh, uh, I like the Rochimaru as a villain. You still like Roach Mars in there? I thought I thought I thought I thought he was Ooh, that's a pretty, question. pretty creepy just back saying. in the day. Pretty <laughs> creepy. Just saying. Yeah, like, he was... Mars, probably. I don't well, really he, have a problem. You know, he had a, like, yeah, he had like a decent backstory that he wanted to like learn all the ninja to in the world. Plus, you know, because of his parents dying, he wanted to experiment on unleashing humans' true potential power and you know becoming immortal himself. It was a mad time. It was a good. Yeah. That yeah. Was yeah. Good. It was a good backstory. Yeah, and and he was creepy as hell, but at least he, he was entertaining and amusing as a villain. He had that yeah. tongue action. And, and Steve yeah. Bloom. <laughs> the tongue action. Steve Bloom. And he was very, you know, very wise. Very, he was and a very smart person as well. Yeah. yeah, he was. Very wise. Yeah, he was a scientist, a yeah, prodigy, he was uh, smart. the three, and everything. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Although I'm not gonna get into like when he's brought back to life. Oh, spoiler! And then he held the kage. That's what I would have fucking the mom did yeah. that. As long as he's got they a trick up his sleeve, he'll be safe. I guess my problem is with Orochimaru is his constant obsession with Sasuke, or basically the Uchiha's. That does need to Apparently everyone's obsessed with Sasuke in this world. But, but the Uchiha's are pretty attractive. <laughs> <laughs> They're the new Saiyans. It's and it's cool. true. It's true. <laughs> pretty well. It's true. Scared Saiyans, God. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, the Saiyans aren't, like, are, you know, the Saiyans, you know, don't get more powerful, more emotional, you know, emotional sure. they get. Yeah, that works. Like, that works. like Uchiha. Yeah, it's it's like the Uchiha. They're like the Uchiha. What emo they get. They're not no, quite no, no, a... no, but with Grandpa, it's all about anger, though. The other, the other one's the... It's also like, about, hatred. you know, it's also about, uh, drive, you know. What you want. Yeah, yeah it's true. You gotta believe it, man. <laughs> yeah, shut yeah, up. Don't even know. <laughs> that was low. Alright, hero. That's you're, true. Sorry. You're up, man. <laughs> Okay, okay. Ah, well, let, let me think. Let's see. Well, let's see. The Major was taken. Griffin was taken. Yeah, Reza was taken. <laughs> Your brother was oh, taken. Why don't you pick the uh, Rao? Was he oh, a villain? Yeah. Well, he, he is my real villain, but uh, one of my... Oh, fine, fine. I didn't... <laughs> I'm going to go to the um, old-fashioned North Star Rao. Uh, the, the thing is, Rao, like, the first thing you know about this guy, when he first shows up, he shows up on, like, this manliest horse you ever see. <laughs> it's fucking epic. <laughs> No, uh, no, I'm serious, because this guy, he's the conqueror. He's feared as the legendary martial artist and the one that wants to conquer the heavens with his fist. And he sort of does, actually. By the time, the, obviously, uh, okay, I'm trying to think of something here since you guys all know nothing. <laughs> right, right. That's spoiled. But actually, know, no, well, even if the notes are so old, it's not really not a spoil, is it? Uh, <laughs> oh, I mean, if you don't know uh, it. Okay, let me try to, try to limit that. Okay. The thing is, Rao, obviously, we, he's Kenshiro's older brother, so we're going to go to that um, Shonen route with, you know, facing your older brother for the sake of the world, and obviously, Rao also knows of the North Star as well, and kind of takes it a little bit to a new level, and the whole goal between Kenshiro and Rao is to um, decide who's the best among them. But the thing is with Rao, he, he kind of is similar to Vegeta in some way due to the fact that initially we see him more as a villainous person, and then as the series progresses, you see that his um, overall goal was to sort of restore peace to the planet by by force and close to the end of the series Rao ends up um, changing a bit um, let me think of a good one uh, but it still doesn't change the fact that he's pretty much killed like several key characters throughout the throughout the series though um, actually let me okay let me swap to another villain now he's gonna kill millions of people you know, destroyed like planets and stuff but he's not that bad of a guy but, you know what I'm saying it all, all's forgiven <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Um, I guess oh, since we're going to Dragon Ball Realm, I'm gonna mention Demon King Piccolo. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Well, I mean, what I love about this dude is that when he first showed up, we first meet the henchman first, Tambourine, and then you know just killing all martial arts. Then we see King Piccolo, which is like all old and raggy and shit. Then the big thing that happens is that they give like this big backstory and how he conquered, pretty much conquered the planet centuries ago. And it was only um, Master Mutaito that managed to seal him. And then I just like the concept of, of a of an undying evil that keeps coming back for, you know, to try to conquer the planet or for vengeance or whatever. And when he does show up, he does like one of the most beastly things ever, which was um, defeat Master Roshi. And then the second thing was you fucking kill the dragon, the fucking. <laughs> and he's the only villain to have done that to this day still. That's true. Well, it's he's the only one who tried. <laughs> Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> well, like granted, he did manage to get his wish, so that's another plus for him. Mm -hmm. He came young, and then from that point onwards, uh, there, there's this one scene that I really liked that he did. It was towards when he um, conquered the uh, King Furry. I think that was his actual name. Furry. <laughs> <laughs> the dog. Furry. <laughs> <laughs> right. When he conquered that place, like th there's a scene where he, I just love the concept that he was gonna um, annihilate the. Um, Every year, it was going to knock a piece of the content out of the planet, just destroying it with a nuclear blast, I guess. I don't know. But this is one scene, though, that he's delivering this speech saying that he just wants to unleash evil across the planet, and why should he have all the fun? And he pretty much does um, unlocks all the inmates from different prisons, and everyone just goes wild. It's, to me, it's a shame that they never showed too much of like, what would happen if he actually did uh, rain for a while. Mm. Too much rain. Yeah. <laughs> well, there there would have been, there would have been probably, let's face it. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's Dragon Ball. <laughs> well, 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 it would have happened off screen. Yeah. Well. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sure. Um, well, as, since we mentioned the whole concept of rape, uh, 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 okay. Griffin was already taken. was already taken. I don't know, no, but <laughs> however, there is a character. There is a character that was where Griffin was modeled from. Oh, it's about the uh, Devil Man. Yeah. yeah, from Devil Man. It was uh, the main villain, which is actually Satan himself. Did he rape people? <laughs> I would say like his demons raped and we're doing the ones doing the raping. Well, here's the thing. The reason I say that Griffin was definitely modeled after him is that um well Satan is obviously a dude, but here's the thing that draws a twist is that Satan is a hermaphrodite, meaning that he has both genders. Oh, oh so that's... and he's got things for the main character, which is Devil Man, and you know, he totally wants to fuck him, so that that's basically uh, what's going on. So it is like Griffin. You feel like Frieza. Well, basically, in, in the course of Devil Man, we don't find out who Satan is until uh, the last volume. But well, I, I'm just gonna say the ending, anyways. But the thing is, what I love about this um, villain is that at first, when we first meet him, he just start, starts off as a badass dude, and then we find out that holy shit, you're actually Satan. And then once um, the thing is, well, during the course of the series, he actually annihilates the entire human race, and it's between. Um, the devil man against the devil army. It got to the point where, uh, let's see, like I said, they exterminated the entire human race and it was just down to like this huge demon war. And that's where pretty much the series ends. Like it just um, never ending torment. Because even after that, the world gets um, pretty much destroyed by the angels that were sent later by some sort of legion. Then the world keeps getting recreated over and over again only for them to repeat their same mistakes. Well, that's a downer. Mm. Devil <laughs> Man's dark. <laughs> Five yeah. volumes, and it's like fucking disturbing. <laughs> oh, right. Well, I, I'm done. It's an appearance out of Dragon Ball. <laughs> 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 like I said, you still love Boo. Oh, Barbara. Barbara. You love that Boo. Barbara is oh, like. <laughs> if you like Boo, you should be ashamed of yourself. Just saying. Oh. <laughs> well, you can't be a Dragon Ball fan. Damn, that's fucked up, man. <laughs> Yeah, it's even worse, you could have picked Baby. That's a whole nother level. We don't speak of GT. No. <laughs> Dragon Ball I can't even take that name seriously. seriously. <laughs> I mean, like, whenever Goku was fighting him, he kept saying, Hey, Baby. <laughs> <laughs> are you, um, I, are you suggesting something to Goku? Okay. Because whenever he was a Super Saiyan 4, he always sounded like he was fucking horny, man. <laughs> Yeah, he really did. <laughs> Talked way too deep. What do you want? He says baby. He's like, you pop his <laughs> ass. His name is Baby, yeah. You shouldn't like, take it seriously. Why did they name him Baby for me? Like, fuck, what is it? I don't know. Uh, I was just... What's weird is that the Master Roshi was doing his voice as well. So <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Merlin, like, you, shouldn't you take it from here then? Oh, I, I guess I, I should give you my villains. All right. Uh, Well, of course, you guys took all the really great ones. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I have the advantage of going last. Um, now I've got a couple good ones. Um, first one uh, is probably from one of my favorite uh, anime series. I really, really always liked uh, Tenzin from Basilisk, just because he he's really over the top and he's he's really evil and he's he's really driven by this desire for war and uh, he also does kind of dabble into the rapey and dare I say uh, incestual territory. So he's, he's he's quite a bastard. He's quite a bastard, but he. He basically sold his soul to the devil for his power, more or less. And I won't give away spoilers, but he's a really good villain. He's got a great presence. Uh, he's probably one of my favorites. Um, I also really like he's Hisoka. Almost Kiel, basically. I mean, Hisoka from Hunter x Hunter, of course. Like, I know some people say, oh, you know, whether he's a villain or not. Well, as far as I can say, he is still kind of villainous, especially early on in the series. I mean, he just was just this really imposing force. And, of course, he's got this really creepy relationship with Gon and with the other characters. He just... Everybody's frightened of him because he's so badass, and you seem like you shouldn't like him, but there's just something so likable about him. He's like everybody's favorite character, pretty much. So um, I think that's pretty cool. And uh, the pedal syndrome, man. The pedal syndrome. Oh God, no. But um, and, and I guess my my third one would probably be it's kind of a toss up because I like both the brothers, but I'm gonna say a younger Tagoro from Yu Hakusho because he was just really oh, intimidating, yeah. and he I think that he was. Just an, an incredibly a badass, and he really pushed uh, Yusuke to newer heights. And 
he had a great voice, great personality, and a really interesting backstory. He had that complexity, of course, we always talk about that was kind of well hidden. But yeah, those are probably my three villains. I really like all those guys. And uh, I guess we're pretty much done talking about our favorite villains. So you guys want to do the outros and we'll wrap up this call? That sounds good. All right. Uh, going around once again, uh, just say uh, what you're doing with your channels, any new videos to expect or whatever. Uh, George, you're up. Yeah, uh, what's up, guys? Uh, right now, uh, make Naruto One Piece reviews and uh, other stuff. And uh, yeah, it was a fun, it was a fun call. Definitely. Uh, hopefully, we we'll do more. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, I Ed? guess. <laughs> Who? All right, Dad, you're up. You. Oh me. <laughs> <laughs> I will be doing a <laughs> giveaway competition soon. So yeah, look out for that. All right, hero. Um, okay, I'm the anime hero. I review anime so you can enjoy it. Um, I, I guess I'll tell you what I'm planning to do. But basically, uh, on Friday the 13th, I'm going to release a character profile that I've been working on all day. So. Friday the 13th, though? Nice. Yeah. Oh. You can kind of guess is, is the Friday character. The 13th? Oh, yeah, fuck. Friday the 13th is um, <laughs> this next dude, in a few couple of days. It's Friday. Friday. Shit. That's not good. Cool. <laughs> um, how about you, Mr. Zoro <laughs> Fanboy or Zoro Fan Man? <laughs> How's it going, guys? Uh, Zero fanboy slash man one two four here. Um, I just did a video on my second channel giving a, a funny story about my family's restaurant. Uh, so if you want, go check that out. Um, this was a really good call. Uh, the Green Clan is planning some good stuff, so definitely, guys, stay tuned. We're, we're going big. We're going big. <laughs> and of course, Lunar Spiral. What you got going on? All right, Lunar Spiral six seven. I review Naruto Bleach. This has now come back. Uh, Toriko, and I'm still waiting for that chapter. Seriously, where the hell is it? It came out. It came out. It came out. It, came out. it did? Mm -hmm. Yes, it did. The like, translation? Like yep. the other day. It's very gory. Just sorry. Okay, okay. <laughs> it, it's now I gotta uh, read sure. that tomorrow, so expect that. <laughs> Alright, and I still review fairy tale, and... Uh, <laughs> wow. That's fucked up. Is, is it good right now? <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> It started off better than the previous arc, but then it start, uh, it's hard to tell. It's still rubbish. Better, like, it's still really <laughs> bad. <laughs> <laughs> really bad. <laughs> and, of course, the Attack and Titan reaction videos. I just recently released one on episode 22, and God, it's so freaking sad. Aw. <laughs> sad times. Yeah. Um, and that's basically it. Oh, okay. Uh, well, of course, I'm Merlin Boss. You guys know me. Um... Uh, right now, I, I recently saw Riddick. I did a video on that, and I'm going to be doing more character analysis of uh, different anime characters. And I'm probably thinking about doing another series of you. don't know which one yet, but uh, you can expect more videos from me in the future. And uh, yeah, guys, it was a pretty good call. You'll be expecting more of these, plus we're going to be doing a first impressions, and we're going to be talking about it at the end of the month. We've all decided we're going to start reading the first couple chapters or volumes of O Parts Hunter. And we're going to let you guys know what we think about that at the end of the month, so you can look forward to that. And more discussions, calls, all the great stuff. So this is Merlin hosting for the Green Clan, and uh, everybody out. Peace. Yep. <laughs>